Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Chandler. This is gonna be an overview of some of the items that I've purchased for my baby girl. She is on her way, not here yet. I'm 37 weeks, constantly out of breath and feeling a little uncomfortable, but I wanted to come back to YouTube. It's been a while since I've posted, but I do plan on posting more content, uh, especially now that I'm a mom and entering this new phase of life. I know for me, I've gone to YouTube a lot during this process to hear from other first time moms and um, you know absorb some of their wisdom from their experiences. And uh, yeah, it's really helped me. So I hope that this helps you. Of course, this is not an essential video. It's not a must-have video. Uh, what I was mainly looking on YouTube for when I was searching for clothes to buy baby were versatile options to put together in different weather. We personally live in a pretty tropical climate. Florida is known for its hot days for most of the year, but some may not know this, we do have a lot of really cold days. In fact, a few years back, not last year, but the year before, we dropped below freezing here, which was kind of a big deal um, during winter time. So we had this series of really inclement bad weather days that brought us below freezing. And for me, I was totally unprepared because I was new to the state. I had a few sweaters in my closet and I was kind of in a rush to get warm clothing. And so I can only imagine if that happens to me while my baby's born, I'm gonna feel really bad. So if you're kind of in the same situation where you're looking for options, this is a good video for you. I have a little bit of everything at this point and I have some really good recommendations that are a little bit off the beaten path as far as clothing websites. I'm a big online shopper. I don't love to go to the store and rub it, rummage through things to buy. I just like to sort of price point online and get it that way. So if you're like me, I will link everything down below and you can get the exact item that you like. I'll also be linking them to my Amazon storefront. So if that's helpful, you can find everything in one place. I'm a big Amazon person. Cut to the chase, Amazon for everything. I've found some really, really good items there too. So I'm gonna be sharing those with you. If you find value in this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'd love to see you back. Um, and of course, if you're a mom, if you have any suggestions for other moms, for me, comment down below. I would love to know what your thoughts are, what kind of suggestions you have. If you're a Florida mom, if you're a mom that, you know, is preparing for a springtime baby, a wintertime baby, a summertime baby, a falltime baby, let us know because you know we're all kind of curious and on the same boat if we're watching this video. So here it is. So for the first items, you're gonna need footies. And footies are mainly for sleeping and snuggling right when they're born. They really don't need a lot of other options. If you have some footies, uh, some blankets or swaddles, you'll probably be okay. I have some cute little sets that I got from Amazon. This is from O2 Baby. And it's a newborn, um, newborn size here, tie-dye pink, and it did come with a cute little chiffon matching bow. So that's going to be just completely adorbs on her. I can't wait for her to wear them. It is a zipper. It's not, however, a two-way zipper. If you can find that, even better. But it doesn't make a huge difference at this point. Um, you're gonna want mittens or sleeves that cover their hands, right? Because you don't want them to scratch themselves. Um, but this is a great little set. Another from O2 Baby 
is this print. Really cute. Another thing to mention is these are all cotton. Um, they're 100% organic cotton. So they're a great option found on Amazon. Super inexpensive, like literally $10, $12. I think I paid for each of these. Um, and this one also comes with a matching bow. So if I can get these up close. Super, super sweet. I can't wait for her to wear these. Um, they feel really soft, really comfortable. Um, and for being 100% cotton, that's a win-win. I really try to find quality fabric. Fabric is essential just because when they're newborn, their skin is so sensitive to everything. And on top of that, if you're putting them in mixed cloth, like polyester, nylon, rayon, those are um, synthetic fibers and they keep the heat in, which is maybe a plus for you, but also they can wear and actually put toxins into the baby's skin. So the best thing you can do is buy wool, linen, or cotton. Another brand that many moms have heard of and talk about is Kate Quinn. Now, I'm gonna jump on that bandwagon and tell you it's great. They are 100% organic cotton. Some of them are uh, modal and some of them have a little mixture of spandex. Super soft, great quality. This is their ribbed collection. It's a plain fabric or plain print, but they have really beautiful prints that I have several of. This one is in the lilac color. It is also zero to three month. So it's gonna be a little bit bigger. You can see from the one I just showed you. Little bit bigger, right? A little bit longer, a little bit more um, room for growth in the zero to threes. You wanna make sure when you bring home baby that you have strictly newborn clothing. Not necessarily for out of necessity, because you can easily put a newborn in this footsie. But for the sake of aesthetics, maybe for a few photos, for just fitting them nice and snug, newborn um, attire is really gonna fit them the best right away. This is also by Katie Quinn, or Kate Quinn, another sort of rose wine color. They have a neck protector right here. So when you zip it up to their neck, they're not kind of rubbing and getting uncomfortable on their skin. Again, mitt protectors, you can tuck their hands in. It's got everything you need. I have several of those and probably more coming on the way. I have think I've purchased, I would say 15 footsies and that's newborn and zero to three month combined. I have the majority of newborn and I plan on getting more zero to three month. I think that 15 footies is a right, right number. I mean, you need at least six or seven because you're gonna be doing laundry a lot. And, you know, say spit ups happen and spills and whatever, you're gonna want some backups. And I was really concerned about the number and I think if you have 10, you're in a good position. If you have 15, you have options. A lot of moms talk about Old Navy as well. Uh, and I think that that's a great option. I went there the other day and they have a lot of really good newborn options as well as zero to three month and three to six month. And depending on the season you're in, you can definitely find layerable options, sweaters, cardigans, pants, jeans, you name it, they have it all. A lot of cotton options as well, so don't sleep on them. I don't know if I have any from Old Navy. I haven't purchased any online recently, but I have shopped them a lot, and I know that I probably will in the future as well. These, however, are two little sets from H&M. If you guys weren't aware, H&M just is amazing for quality fabric clothing for adults and for babies. So this is a really cute set I got for her. It's knitted fabric. 
all cotton again, of course, organic cotton. Um, these are in newborn, so you can get them as small as they come for their newborn phase and up. I think all the way up to three years is what this came in. It has nice little button detailing on the side and super, super cozy kind of lax fit. It's gonna be a little bit oversized. So that's perfect if you need to layer. If you're having a winter or a fall baby, I would say go with sets like this, something that's knitted, good quality fabric. They can put a little onesie on underneath. And then of course, if the baby gets really warm, just pop the sweater or cardigan off, easy peasy. A couple more things that I got from H&M that I'm absolutely obsessed with are, and this may surprise you, but dungarees, I mean, that's what they call them, I guess, in like Australia, but they're pretty much overalls. And I have at least six pairs of these because I feel that they're gonna be so easy. These have, um, some of them have buttons, these don't have buttons. I'll show you some that I got from a different website that have buttons in case you need to change their diaper. But this is again, organic cotton, super awesome patterning and material, you guys. This is like perfect for spring and summer. You don't even have to put anything under it, um, but you can layer it with a onesie. And it's just like, just throw it on, right? It's so simple, I wish I had it in my wardrobe. Another from H&M is this beautiful knit sort of coat. I, I, I hesitated to get this, I really did, because I thought I'm in Florida and she's going to be born in early March, so I have no idea if she'll even use this. But then again, I'll probably make an excuse to use it with her because it is that cute. Very inexpensive. I got it on sale actually. And one good thing about H&M is that they always have really good sales. I mean, the fabric and the detail is just gorgeous. I just love it so much. This is in newborn and it is again, organic cotton. So sweet. Now, a lot of you are thinking, where's the color? <laughs> and if you don't know me, you might not know that I am a very basic, beigey, neutral gal. I love neutrals. Her nursery is gonna be neutral. My whole life is neutral. So I kind of worked with my own aesthetic and made her match me. My sister, however, who has four girls, has like all primary colors and she herself wears bright colors all the time and rocks them. I'm not so much like a bright colored girl. I can't even think of like more than maybe one red shirt that I have. And you know, that's kind of, that's just who I am. So I'm a neutral kind of gal. And that's what I would suggest if you're looking for a style, if you want to go with a certain theme, think of what you wear because your baby is gonna be matching you. She's gonna be on you. Um, they're gonna be next to you, taking photos with you. And it's always nice if you match. So this is probably more for fall and winter time babies, but if you need a couple of really good quality knitted outfits, go to Janie and Jack. Janie and Jack is where it's at, you guys. I fell in love with this brand as soon as I saw it. Actually, the first time I'd heard of it was when I was a nanny. And I worked for a affluent, very um, quality conscious family. They weren't uber wealthy and they had so many of these quality pieces. It changed how I viewed children's attire. And I think to be completely honest, you can't go wrong with investing in a few really good quality knitted pieces. This is size zero to three, it's organic cotton. It has buttons down the sides of the legs in case you need a quick change. And these are actually called dungarees. So I'm not sure if there's a difference. If you guys know that if there's a difference between overalls and dungarees, please let me know. But I can just imagine like a wintertime baby slipping into one of these with a long sleeve shirt and a jacket and her being super, super cozy. Another brand that I absolutely freaking love that I have not heard another person talk about 
is Mango for babies. Now I know that they have a great assortment of clothes, quality clothes for women and men, and I've shopped for myself on their website, but never have I seen or heard of their baby attire until now. And I'm telling you, you guys, it's a step up from H&M quality and price, but you can find these items super on sale like I did. I think I shopped them during their winter closeout sale. So I got some really cute items that are super good quality. Again, these are really good quality fabric. I don't believe though that they are 100% organic cotton. I made a compromise because of the cuteness and the style. So this is a nice knitted cardigan. I have two of them. One was in light tan. This one's in brown. Not super feminine. I really love the fact that they have some gender neutral items that can go either way. And their sizing is a little bit different. It's actually newborn and then one to three months. So you'll have to pick and choose based on the season that you are planning on having your baby. This is also an adorable top that I got in two different colors. You can see the colors are slightly different, but how adorable will these be in some sort of springtime occasion? These are a variant of cotton. They're actually muslin, I believe. Two more from Mango are, <laughs> you guys saw it, dungarees. I have no idea what qualifies a dungaree. I'm really, really curious now, but I do love them. They're stretchy. You can see from up close, they're like a super nicely knitted fabric. They've got buttons along the legs, and these are uh, one to three months. Again, kind of a gender neutral look with these clothes. Mango is more high fashion, concerned especially with their adult clothing that I think that sort of translates into their baby clothes as well. One thing you'll find in their mango line is the frilled collars. They really love a frilled collar, which we, we do too, right? I bought a couple of these onesies, long sleeve, just for going under overalls, dungarees, with shorts, with pants, to kind of give it a little bit of something. Another obvious brand that we all have locally, which is a good thing if you're looking for baby clothes, is Target. I have this set, long sleeve onesies, that actually came with matching bloomers. So these are a good mix, especially because they're a set if you're on the go in a hurry, maybe it's springtime, maybe it's summer, you can really get away with the cotton long sleeve, it's airy, it's breathable, and with some baby bloomers, it kind of makes it a little bit more trendy. And this also is from Target. So cute, they had multiple colors. They had baby blue, pink, yellow. I went with the yellow because she doesn't have any of that in her wardrobe uh, yet, um, but it is again muslin and this is a newborn size. And I really just can't get over the loose fitting, muslin, cotton, airy, breathable shirts that come with the matching bloomers. It's just the cutest summer, spring vibe. Let's just face it, if you can get anything for a baby in a set, you are saving yourself so much time in the future because you know what pieces go together, you wash them together, you wear them together, you picture them together. There's no guessing, there's no putting pieces, there's no compiling outfits. It's all done for you. Speaking of sets, and a very known trusted baby brand is Gerber. Don't sleep on Gerber, you guys. They have some great options. They sell sets, they sell onesies, footsies, gowns, socks, bloomers, anything that you can think of for baby, they have it. They are the masters and commanders of baby clothes. I bought this little set for her. It's a cute little dress top with some bloomers. These bloomers have flared out legs. 
I thought that was the cutest thing. Pear print. Again, a newborn. She can wear this in the summer. She can wear this as soon as she's born if we have some good weather days. As you can see, I've got so many options. I've got winter clothes and summer clothes because you just never know with a springtime baby and a fall time baby. It's really a guessing game. It's my best suggestion to have options. And the best way to go about getting your options is getting layering clothes. Pieces that you can just tack on, take off are your best bet. Another cute little set from Gerber. You guys, another little dress with some bloomers. This is muslin, a 100% cotton. The print is palm with green coloring, super cute. The bloomers have details. Frilly details across the side. Super, super sweet for those hot weather days. Okay, last but not least, we have some more from Gerber, more cardigans. Like I said, you guys, I have a lot of layering options. This one's in pink and tan. They also have different prints. There's a pointel knitted design, which is sort of allowing that breathability with adding the warmth in layers. So I think that, you know, if there's a nice day that it's kind of chilly or there's a breeze, this is gonna really come in handy. And then a couple more of these I couldn't resist. This is from Oshkosh Bagosh. Uh, I got these at Carter's. So if you guys don't have a Carter's around, shop them online. They have some great deals, some great sales for moms. These I got on sale, they were 40. So kind of pricey for mm -hmm. A good old pair of overalls but I got them on sale they were half the price totally worth it they'll last her um, these these are three month so these will fit her in the summertime so if you're looking at you know extending out the money that you spend on the clothing get them a little bit big and um, they'll work a little bit longer for them so those are some of my core pieces to my baby's wardrobe that I've received so far. If you guys want to see more, if you want to see specific things like essentials or must-haves, I can absolutely do a video about that too because we all know this is a guessing game and you're just trying to gauge how your baby's going to adapt to the world that they're being born in. And we're trying to help them as much as possible, right, by picking the best clothing options, having as many as you need. How many you need is kind of tough to gauge. So I can do a must-haves and essential uh, video which will be bringing in the basics of what I have as far as the core pieces of the wardrobe. And I would love to share that with you guys next. Um, let me know what your thoughts are. If you have any suggestions for me, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.